Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is episode 10. Last time we completed the Junon region. We finished those side quests, completed the world intel, and ready to proceed now with the main story. We've lifted our friends up after a race through some balloons with Mr. Dolphin. Uh, and now we're heading on up ourselves. And I am very excited to check out this portion of the game. It's just like an absolute joy. Every time I'm playing this game, just a big smile, you know? Seeing these regions fully realized in a remake capacity, it's, it's just really special. These areas that have been in my mind for my entire life, almost, and seeing them in the rebirth I'm just like, hello, this is exactly how I pictured it. This is, this is perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. When I see how they've fleshed out the towns and villages and added, like, characters and people and uh, the just the actual emotional connection that you have to places that were just pit stops in the original, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's very well done. Uh, so I think this is actually where we came from, uh, the shiplift control room. So we're going this way. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look at those cannons. Nice, you get to see like the ships. So this is uh, the artillery in Junon that you don't see as much because you just see the massive singular cannon. Uh, but this is what it's all about. They've got a lot more defense here than you would think. Interestingly enough, like, Junon has so much of a defensive setup here, but Midgard does not. Like, if Midgard is getting attacked by a force off the coast, they don't have anything. Uh, Midgard is, is screwed. They're like, well, hope they're not tall enough to get over the wall, you know, like, but Junon is packed to the brim with, uh, with artillery. And there's my group. But yeah, it'll be really funny to, you know, witness just how defensive Junon is, and then they're like, yes, hopefully they don't come to Midgar. <laughs> ah, there you are. Let's move. Let's go, team. Reunited. Infiltration. So this is very different to the original. Why are you walking like that, Aerith? <laughs> this is very different. Because Cloud goes up on his own, and he does not reunite with the rest of the team until they're already on the cruise ship. So I'm really curious how this is playing out here with our group all together. We're all going to get into disguise and play along together, are we? Oh, hi. Um, yep, okay. we're just here. Time to win that commendation. Damn, they do not care about us, huh? Hey, I wonder if we look like anyone on those wanted posters, guys. No, nothing. We don't look like anyone. I okay. We get to see the new president in person. Ah, uh, they're too starstruck over Rufus to care about what we look like, guys. <laughs> they're like, ah, oh, yeah, that's just a soldier and his entourage. Nice. Big old cannon. Wow. Less security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. Well, they're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Okay. Um, yeah, because you in, you come up here as Cloud and uh, a, a senior soldier, he goes, Hey, you! 
get out of that uniform, get dressed, you're late. You know, and that's how it goes. Oh, the, the theme. The interesting use of this theme. Very cool. This theme sticks with me the most from the original when you're climbing up from the slums to the plate. We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. Huh? Oh, in terms of, like, support for the president. They've got to go big. Oh, the airstrip. Here we are. Yeah, baby! Look at that. It looks exactly like it should. Oh, my God. How the hell are they going to give us the airship in part three? It's going to be so fucking amazing. Will they be able to give us the full seamless open world from an airship perspective? I wonder. They've got to be able to. They're probably like, how are we doing this? They're working on it right now already for part three. They're like, how are we doing the airship? Look at that. Any idea what that is? The high wind. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Let's <laughs> get train crew and piloting skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Are we not getting Aerith and Red talking about this? Are they still... Where are they? Aerith would love to talk about this. Where are my other two? I can hear the footsteps. There you are. Hey, you two. I wonder if it's whoever's in your primary party at the time will talk about it, because, you know, there was the whole Final Fantasy VII PS1 wallpaper of Aerith standing beneath the high wind, and they've recreated that for this game. So I was waiting for some dialogue. Look at this setup, though. Look at what they've done here. This is incredible. <laughs> They're doing all of the marches. The way that this is properly set up for a greeting and this airstrip actually feels uh, so much better in how it's set up. Now this is an inauguration. There's so many. If only they realized who we were. Yeah, best not get any closer. Someone might recognize us. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're going to be seeing this dude again later. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? If you want to check out the parade, take the elevator down. Incredible. God, there's just so much to take in. It's huge. The scale of it. Look at all of the airships. All of the planes that they have. I love how much of a weird design it is. So you don't get any closer, but you just like duck and weave through the groups. I, I actually, as much as I kind of detest sometimes, like, forced bullshit stealth segments, this game has had one with the Burke crew in the Grasslands, right? Where you had to, like, just casually sneak around them. This is a portion where that makes a lot of sense, because they're like, we should probably stay out of sight of Shinra, because they'd recognize us and uh, we'd be in trouble. We're wanted fugitives with a big-time uh, bounty on all of our heads. So, like, you see how this is set up, where there's, like, all these trucks in the way. You can, like, duck behind the trucks or behind crates and avoid getting caught by Shinra soldiers. So it's actually kind of hilarious that you're just able to stroll around. You're like, yeah. Everybody's too distracted. I'm so nervous that I can't 
lasted for a week last night. That's the ticket. Much better than yesterday. I don't think I've got anything more to add. Hmm? Do you need something? Elevator's just over there if you want to get back to town. Like, it feels like that people would be like... People would be like, holy crap! Uh, no civilians up here, you know? Like, this is a military presidential inauguration. Like, they'd be worrying about, like, a presidential assassination attempt, you know? You know, they'd be like, someone could come in and, like, try and mess with everything. They're being very chill <laughs> about us being up here. Just gotta make a word of advice. Do not piss off Director Heidegger. Do not piss off Director Heidegger. Alright, down we go. Look at this. It's totally nitpicking, but it is very interesting. <laughs> With the amount of a premise that they've put on us having a bounty and recognizable for even like the woman in Juton, she like pulls up her eye iPad. She's like, yep. Junon, Sheriff here, you're a fugitive. No, we'll leave them be. For now. Hello again, Rufus. Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. Wait a minute. This is the dude from the first soldier, Glenn. Oh no, they've they've they're bringing in the mobile game. It's actually real. This is who this hooded figure from the earlier trailer was. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right, beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. 
Shinra has a bright future. Bringing in Glenn from the first soldier, which is very interesting because he was a hooded man. This is the hooded man that was in a trailer a long while back, and everyone was like, Who's this guy going to be? Some sort of weird surprise character. And I think the theory did actually float around. Someone mentioned it may have potentially been someone from the first soldier to like connect that. So there it is. Uh, it's Glenn. Uh, it seems as if Rufus and Glenn had a little bit of a falling out that involved with uh, Rufus shooting him in the back. And I don't actually know anything about the first soldier story except the really early beginning stuff because in the Ever Crisis game, it locks you out of that content really easily because you need to spend money and, uh, you know, put a lot of time and effort into getting the story going. And you have to jump around and play Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core before you can actually just play Ever Crisis. Uh, the, sorry, the first soldier in Ever Crisis. So this feels really strange. Uh, I'm curious the angle that they're going for here. I assume, hopefully, that they fill us in on enough story stuff to not be super lost. Uh, basically, what I know about Glenn is he and a crew of people get downed on an island and... Um, they're a, a brand new location on the world map that we haven't even heard of before. Encounters some people and then they talk about, you know, their this group's role in protecting the planet and doing stuff like that. And that's as far as I got when, into their story. So it seems that Glenn ends up with Wutai in some capacity uh, and also is... Uh, no longer with Shinra at all, um, to the point where Rufus shot him and he's just come back to like taunt him. Uh, I'm very confused by that appearance. Also, he could, you know, stand to put some shoes on. The floor's probably really filthy. And he's just walking around in a in a bathrobe. But um, yeah. A little bit of a left field appearance there. Cause a lot of people are just gonna go, huh? And the only reason I even know his name is because I tried to get into Ever Crisis. And that was like, um, I think that was, I don't know how long Ever Crisis was in the timeline previously, but it's around the time when Sephiroth was quite younger and establishing his uh, heroic name, I believe. So 10 plus years ago. Maybe? Yeah. All right, uh, we're in the aerodrome. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, it feels just strange at the moment. <laughs> so I guess we will uh, we'll wait and see how that turns out. Okay, time to win that commendation. As long as they make it worthwhile to include that in the story, and hopefully it's not just a shoving it into the game as a please go and play Ever Crisis, uh, you know, Ever Crisis and the First Soldier, you get the full story. So this makes almost my need to watch and react to the cutscenes, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, even more apparent. I'll uh, have to go through that to get the full story of Glenn Lodbrook. Unless this game fills it out for me. Because you'd assume that the, they would have to uh, accommodate people that aren't playing the mobile game with this character. So. Yes, what is it? Oh, are you trying to get to the town below? Just take the elevator. What kind of range do you think a can on that size has got? Big old tank. It is cool to get more characterization from Rufus because Rufus doesn't do much in the original game like he appears and has a couple of showings but like he's not super present and I think this is a great opportunity for them to improve that and to actually have him as way more of a character 
I'm quite excited for that. So I guess him having some past stuff while he was away, you know, he would have been off doing potential Wu Tai stuff, but while, you know, his dad was in charge, and I guess we'll get some of that story. Which will also improve and add to the Wu Tai quest line with Yuffie in general, so that'll that'll be cool. Keep your boots and helmet. There's even more for us to enjoy. Alright, down to the town. Oh, this is this elevator. Yep. Look at that. Oh, the memories, dude. Similar layout to the one in the original. A little bit different positioning. So, Cloud, what can you tell us about Juno? It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it. This is funny that there's a competition between Midgar and Junon. Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. <laughs> Residential district level three, okay. And then if you keep going further down, that'll take you back to lower Junon. God, but the vibration of the lift in my hands. <laughs> Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> True. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. All right. See you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Oh, the three of us getting dressed up in Shinra soldier outfits? Okay. Because Rufus was on the phone and he was like, we'll leave him be, you know? And I'm assuming he's talking about us. Like, it, it's probably been identified. The Turks are keeping an eye on us and Aerith probably. But then they're like, we don't care. Mm. Except they do. And yeah, Roche is coming after us. It's And there's bounties on our head, so... 
Very interesting. So Barrett and Red are going to scope ahead, and we're getting dressed. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. Yeah, because we all look like troopers. Now we're talking. At least this explains how these guys get their outfits. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Why are they grabbing buckets of helmets? Okay, this is funny. Whoa there. Uh -oh. Three steps back, if you please. <laughs> okay. This is just like, um... Yeah, so they, they grabbed buckets of uniforms. This is so funny. Um, you just hear the, like the rustling into the into the gear. <laughs> Where do we put our old clothes, guys? Because how do they get their old clothes back? Put them in a duffel bag and hope for the best. Um, that is so funny. Look at all these people that don't even care to close their lockers, dude. Have a blast. I love that this does explain how they get their uniforms. Um, Barrett has, like, has just got to get that sailor uniform, right? But what's Red going to do? Are they going to change? What are they going to do? Because he does get into disguise in the original. Oh. He does uh, get changed into a uniform in the original, and it's hilarious. And I feel like they've got to do it. They've kept and ex expanded so much silliness in this game and in the previous one that I would almost expect it. Hello, old oh, friend. Wow. Damn, he's going to look like he did in Crisis Core. So strange. Freeze. Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, women in uniform. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're perfect. I'd say we look the part. Maybe. But don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, alright? <laughs> this is so funny. It's also weird being able to see the faces, because usually you don't. It's like masked underneath. The helmet sits down a little bit further. Oh, this is so strange. Like, it makes sense because this is how they look when they're on the boat, but seeing it in such high detail is very unexpected. And I'm just rocking my buster sword for good measure. Where do our original clothes go, I wonder? Head to starboard Junon when you're ready. Better hurry. You don't want to be the reason your team is disqualified. The armor clipping through the Buster Sword is a little bit unfortunate. Hold it! seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection, 
I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! <laughs> Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? Perfect. Cloud's blushing a little bit, I swear. Uh, also, they call them Malboros in this game instead of their re uh, renamed one. Oh my god, the full parade music. <laughs> Press the corresponding button when the glowing guide marker connects with the panel to improve your drill team synchronicity and impress the crowd. Red diamonds, tap the button. Yellow, repeatedly tap the button. Teal, hold the button. Okay. Tap. Tap, hold. All right, here we go. See what you've got. Now, begin! It's like you want to watch it, you know? That's the thing. It's like you want to watch them doing the thing, but you got to pay attention. Uh, Tifa and Aerith are just uh, flawlessly natural at this. This is great. Look at them go. Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Nailed it. Precise, clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, you've impressed me. Yes, ma'am. It serves as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am! Ma'am! Plunk. Promotion. As parade captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junar. You will recall that to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seven Sprasars. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Juno. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Ma'am! Ma'am! Ma it's so over the top. I love it. Don't you think my Buster Sword is a little bit out of regulation? Okay, look at this. What the hell? 
As Parade Captain, it falls to you to locate the 7th Infantry's disparate units and assemble your drill team. When you have found at least five, you can fine-tune your performance lineup with left trigger. Note that certain units unlock different formations. Successfully performing more difficult formations improve your rating. What the hell? This is so extra. Wow, okay. I love how they're handling it. So it's similar to the original in that you infiltrate, you still get part of the parade, you do that stuff. Except <laughs> you actually have Tifa and Aerith with you. And they're even in them, like the models on screen here, which is great. I wonder if this game will allow you to have unlockable costumes where you can play the game outside of this area with different outfits, because that would be great. This is way more than I ever would have expected them to do. This is a big opportunity. <laughs> Still haven't assembled your team, Captain? I'm sure some of your fellow troopers fell into a bottle or two. Try the bars around town. Get your team in order, Captain. Ma'am. I'm so overwhelmed, I'm trying to like think of all of the things that we need to be talking about and addressing, like Glenn's talking about the Magnus Materia, which kind of feels like it's the huge Materia, but different, and, uh, you know, I'm just like trying to have a handle on the story movements while also being like, Boy, holy crap. I was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation won't. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow. That's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> so we'll get him to give us a presidential commendation. And then I'll go, hey, recognize this buster sword? Bitch. <laughs> okay, the different renditions of the, uh, the theme for the... President is perfect. Wow. Cool. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Locate the 7th Infantry. This is stunning, dude. Look at the detail and art direction for June on here. Wow. President Rufus Shinra. Do you have a moment to spare? I'd like to interview you, if that's all right. Thank you so much. Have you come here today to see the inauguration parade? Sort of. I'm here to see Rufus more than anything. I see. Next, if you were to guess, which unit do you think will go home with the President's commendation? Personally, I hope a local unit wins it. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Let's see what some of the other people... Seventh Heaven's gonna win, baby. Seventh Infantry. Shinra Whiskey. Premium quality. I'd like to interview you. Ride the wind. Oh my god. Dude, they have... <laughs> they have Chocobo versions of these. That is so fun. Why is... I feel like it, they should have made it a Moogle version. Is that a popcorn thing for... Okay, that's cursed. Chocobo popcorn holder. All right. Everybody ready? Not yet! Let me fangirl for a sec. Fangirl a little toward the middle then, would ya? Sorry, Mr. President. Don't mind me. Come on. You gonna pose or what? This is my crew, right? Some of. Perfect timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? 
Whenever you're ready, sir. Uh. Are you moved? Thanks a bunch. Wow, Captain! Who knew you were such a pro? I might just have to frame this. Break time's Obtained over. Obtained a Rufus Shinra cutout. about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I've only known my infantry unit for five seconds, and I would die for them. They made him so tall. Incredible. Alright, I've got some of my people. They've got everything! Shame I can't take this baby home. But you know, the smaller ones are real beauty too. The Masterworks Mako Cannon? Oh yeah, it's as good as bought. That's what I'm oh, this is about. so good. I can't find it anywhere else. Man. <laughs> Buying the collectible 1 4000 scale sister ray, dude. Hmm? Well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model, too? Check the helmet, you dipshit. <laughs> Captain, please forgive me, sir. Break time's over. Outside. Now. Right, right away, sir. sir. <laughs> I get respect around these parts. Oh my god. Alright, let's take a look. What do we got in here? Wow, I'm gonna get so lost around this place. Oh, that's a big ass sword. Don't let uh Gilgamesh see it. Greetings, Captain! In need of some new armaments? Um, I already own these again. So we're not seeing uh, a new piece of uh, weaponry yet. Good luck out there, Captain. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Ta-da! A stamp for me! Jesus, look at that. Why is this so good? Stamp rally. This is perfect. But there's so much more than I ever dreamed. The Grand Hotel. Oh my god. For the inauguration. What? How much do I have here? This is just one side. Jesus Christ. Ruby's got. Cecilia should be around here somewhere, I think. So. Look at their version of a buggy. June on fashion, is it? Well, all right then. Let's see what you got for me. Ah. We have a thing for bright colors. But what's this? Elements of military design. This is such a great city. The the art direction here is amazing. Oh, it's rude. He's actually doing it. <laughs> yes, dude, it's a secret handshake to get in. Oh my god. The glabrescent bar and you need to be bold and have glasses to get in. They do a head bump and a little thing and go in. Oh my god, dude. Oh, they kept rude going to the bar, dude. Holy shit. Let me see it. I feel represented! I'm part of the group! Hmm. <laughs> huh! Rude, you mind? This your first time? If you want to drink with us, you're gonna have to lose the helmets. No scout, no service. No scout, no service! <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Unless, are you three mop heads? Wait, he's our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Uh. R&R is over, people. Seven. Outside. Sir! Right away, sir! <laughs> with the helmets. 
<laughs> like, they took the the fact that it was just rude going for like an innocent game of like poker with a couple of people in a bar, and they've done this. They've turned it into a bold club. There we go. Baldies only. Hey, if you want to drink here, the helmet has to go. I love how unrecognizable we are. Okay, let's see. Whoa. You take that off or what? Wait, look, there's an emerald one too. Okay, so this one's a little bit different where you've got deep dive into the emerald sea. It's a very clear reference to emerald weapon. Do you think that Emerald Weapon is also just a giant island that's just chilling and then it just like will wake up and we've got flowers growing out of its crystallized uh, spots? Because that is amazing. If they're built into the environment, both of them, that's genius. That's so cool. Clean shaven club. Also, I just love that this buster sword means nothing. Rude's been smacked in the face with this many times. Oh my god. This is my group, right? Yeah. So whenever I go to a different space, they're like outside. Forward to a celebratory drink, sir. Can't wait, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at my group! That Amiga really are world class. Sir, Look at my Welcome back, sir! Welcome back, sir! Oh. <laughs> so they're all just waiting here for me to get the rest, dude. Oh my god. This is my family. Ready to move when you are, sir! Sir! Alright, hold on guys. <laughs> oh my god, I've still got more to do. This is ridiculous. Now I knew coming to Junon was going to be so fun because I love this part of the game. However, I didn't realize it was going to be this perfect. Is this more of my crew? It is. Damn, look at the size of that thing. It's big. Look at it. <laughs> it's humongous. No, just this. This dude's looking at the the high wind. An instrument of death, laid to rest. Huh. There is something kind of poetic about that. If you find rust poetic. What? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh! Um, I, um, captain! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. <laughs> Everyone, follow me. Yes, yes sir! Assemble! Uh, we've got four out of ten, and then we can choose, uh, pick and choose what we actually want. Oh, dude, they even wait for the parade. Dude, they even kept this, and it it's exactly the same. Holy shit, it's the same. A new era, hope like banner on the side, and and that will take you up there. It's exactly the same as the original. That's the stuff that really blows my mind about the remake is when they keep stuff almost perfectly the same. It takes me off guard. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, look, they follow me everywhere. This is this is perfect. Do we go over the other side too? <laughs> That's really cursed. Oh my god, look. They actually, you see them. <laughs> look at them march with me, dude. We were assembled at Junon's aerodrome earlier today to welcome President Rufus Shinra to the city. In a few hours, he will take part in his inauguration parade through starboard Junon. After which, he is expected to give a speech on the future of the company. A new day is dawning for Shinra. And our city is eager to greet it with open arms. Attack of the weapon. Seven, ten, hut. Sir! 
Oh my god. Tango of Tears. Look at this shit, dude. To welcome President Rufus Shinra to the city. In a few hours, you will wait. So Rufus is raid through Starboard Juno. After which, he is expected to give a speech on the future of the company. A new day. Love list, dude. Don't advertise it because then Genesis will show up. A new era. Hundreds of troopers were assembled at Junon's aerodrome earlier today. What is this? Le soiree. In a few hours, he will take part in Ooh, hello? Ooh, fancy. After which, he is expected to give a speech on the future of the company. So, yeah, once the parade's over, I'll be officially joining the counter terrorism you unit. Time to be Shit! Here, I know. I just love the way they make all their Oh, Elaine is here. This sucks. Well, we'll just have to make the most of the time we got. Humiliating. Rue probably hates me. Boss must want to fire me. <sighs> oh, Elena. I'm busy being sad. <laughs> Did. So, yeah, once the parade's over, I'll be officially joining the counter team. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet! Oh, Captain! I, I didn't... I'm sorry, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, sir! You rounded up the prerequisite five units. I don't care. I'm getting all ten. I need everybody. Hundreds of troopers were assembled at you. This place is perfect. Oh my god, look at them all! Oh! Red! What are you doing here? Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. <laughs> Those children won't stop staring. If they so much as try to pet me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red, let them pet you, okay? Please. That commendation is as good as ours. Dude, the mixture of music is so good. There's just so much to take in here. The barracks. I see a squad. They're being interviewed. How excited to participate in today's parade. Very all of us in the seventh have been practicing like crazy, day in and day out, drilling every little detail. I just hope that hard work comes through in our performance, and that it gives everyone who came out to support our new president something else to cheer about. I'm sure it will. But before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks back in Midgar? This is a difficult time for our city. But when you see us marching today, just know this. We're marching for you. Uh, this dude here that was talking is uh, Damien Haas from Smosh, who's a big uh, are you to Kingdom Hearts fan. That's like, <laughs> all of us in the seventh. Of the yeah, that's his voice because he does voice acting too. Uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Oh, uh, good day, Captain. Uh, oh, you're their captain. This is perfect. If you have a moment. I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, sorry, but... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We, uh... Oh. Right! I see what you mean, Captain! We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! Sure. 
All right, we're at six out of ten. Let's keep searching as we take in the the space. Oh, hello. Um, hello. What are you doing? I swear, nothing gets my blood pumping like hiding in the barracks when I'm on duty. Why does he sound like that? Why is he like, oh no, don't catch me. Don't catch me hiding in the barracks like a naughty boy. Why does he sound like that? I was like, nothing gets my blood pumping like being a naughty little boy in the barracks. Like, hello? Man, I can't wait to see the mobile unit tear it up. Oh God, President Shinra cardboard cutout jump scare. God, this place is a mess. <laughs> it's past time the president showed himself. Where's he been? Not in Midgar, that's for sure. In the world, maybe? Good. Kid's got a lot to learn. True that. My daddy's got any idea what Midgar units can do. <laughs> Guess we just gotta go out there and introduce ourselves. Not now, buddy. We're busy. Oh! Captain! I didn't realize! Sorry, sir! Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir. sir! I love how the, every single group is like, Why are you bothering me, asshole? And they're like, Ugh! Seven out of ten. So if Red's here, where's Barrett? When a tree? What kind of range do you think a can on that size has got? Cecilia's is one of the oldest shops in World War II. I say, now that's real craftsmanship. This shop is listed as a must-be in every guidebook and is always filled. That's quite a stone. Did you embed it yourself? Can I help you find anything today? No. Feel free to keep browsing. We carry only the finest in materia here. Yeah, I have all of what you have. We look forward to your next visit. The parade's gonna be broadcast live in Midgar. So we gotta show up and show out. Give the folks back home something to believe in, right? The um, recommended can I help you? <laughs> Captain? Guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir! All right, two more. Uh, okay, so... I assume that everyone that we're finding is over this specific side, and we're not going over this side yet. Considering we found eight out of ten over here. Team seven, oh. The guide recommends checking out this store. Hey. Oh, hang on. There's my there's my commander. Where is my seventh? There they are. Oh my god! Look at them. Look at them. Let me march with him. Okay. Find what you needed, sir! Hope so, sir! Hope so, sir! Yes, I march with my boy. With my boys and girls. And Aerith and Tifa are also kind of there. <laughs> no way! Is that what you think it is? Dude, they did. They did it. He looks perfect. <laughs> he looks perfect. Hey! Uh, hey there! Uh, I was just checking my uniform. Uh, for Lit! <laughs> Y'all know how it is. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could have shot you. You look. What? Wow. 
<laughs> it's not like I had jokes. Nothing else fit. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I checked out the way to the fort. And y'all, uh, look like you're fitting in. Yeah. Nobody's batted an eye. We're gonna win the president's commendation. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Think you mean I'm rooting for you. Dude. Okay, so they took the gun arm off and he's got... He's literally Captain Hook. They put him in the sailor suit. Yes. It, come on. The only one that's missing is Red now. Red needs to be in a Shinra uniform. There's a lot of troopers in town, especially by the boy. Because of the crowds, no doubt. Long as we keep our heads down, we'll be okay. All right, Captain Hook. That's so good. Okay, we found Barrett. The commander's down here, but I still need to find two more squads. So we've got the... I don't think we've been in the rest spot. And there's probably another level that we haven't checked out yet either. Hey, look! Whoa, there's more of them. Hundreds of troopers. Everybody just did so many shots that From earlier today. Welcome, President. Rufus. The Larboard Garrison reception. In a few hours, you will be. These aren't mine. We'll parade today. You'll need it. Oh, we got an upstairs and a downstairs. Aha! I found more of you lazy maggots! I believe our Afrit formation is the pinnacle of perfection. Afrit formation? The Grenadier's Rameau is pretty tight, too. Nothing beats the Riot Trooper's Shiva formation. It's rock solid! Hmm. If only we could come up with a formation that allowed all of our troops to shine. The they even the have, they've job. even included the 132nd scale soldier, dude. Like, mwah. Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh, that depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! Yes, yes sir! sir. Oh no, what formation should we use? We'll find out. Alright, one more left. My perfect 7th infantry. Alright, now we'll head up to... Upper level. Sleeping bay. Please don't talk to me. I'm trying to study. I don't have Oh yes. <laughs> Not if I ever want to be a soldier. I won't oh, Chadley. After I'm done studying, I've got to do my workout. Okay. How did Chadley no get in here? What happens? No hard feelings. May the best unit win. Oh, <gasps> kitties. Oh, are you lonely without daddy? Well, he's here. <laughs> Oh, making daddy work for your love. That's so adorable. The things that they've kept from the original and put across here, like sprinkled in, is so good. My stomach can't handle it. You better hit the head before the parade starts. I wonder if they have the beginner's hole still that you can go down to. That's where you get another enemy skill material. Good day. Is there something I can help you with? Scanning. <laughs> candidate confirmed. Hmm. Huh. Cloud? Why in the world are you wearing that uniform? On second thought, forget I asked. The less I know about your undercover pursuits, the better. Should you require assistance, let me know. Now then, Captain, how might I help you today? Does this insinuate that Chadley also has other research assistants that he finds that are skillful that he interacts with because he's like hmm potential research candidate it makes sense i don't know if there's anything new we can do here but i'm also quite curious does this mean that we will be fighting uh in our 
Shinra disguises right now. Or the sailor uniform. Out of curiosity, or do we change back to our normal? Ah, oh, do we actually fight against this? Yes. Dude. <laughs> it does. It keeps you in the disguise. How good. How good. In amazing. So you can actually do the fights, which means, which means, Barrett. Is Barrett in the sailor uniform? Because he doesn't have his gun arm. He's got a Captain Hook hand. Uh, so I'm curious. Is Barrett dressed up? Which means that there is no reason why we should not be able to change costumes and just have Barrett running around in his sailor uniform out in the open world. Correct? Yes, right? Right? Now Red's just the only odd one out. Oh my god. Keep it together. Dude. Oh man, look, <laughs> dude, oh my god, he looks so good. Come on. I'm very, I'm very happy. So he takes off his Captain Hook hand and puts on his actual weapon. Hope you don't mind. You've got this. Perhaps you're having an off day. Needless to say, many hazards. Right, away. Off we go. We'll leave. <clears throat> so none of my troops are up here, but Chadley is. Okay. There's my unit. Uh, I need to check out here. Oh, we've got the folios. I didn't even go in here. There you go. Got too distracted by red. So shopping center on the first floor. Welcome. <laughs> they uh, they kept the the girls, but it's repurposed it for this store. Gotcha. Welcome to the magical Magnata Books Junon location. If you're looking for some recommendations, we'd be more than happy to name a few of this week's babes for you. My personal pick would definitely be the final flight. I swear, none of the other books even come close to topping it. It's a forbidden romance between a commander and her airman. I promise you'll be sobbing like a baby when you get to the part where she orders her true love to charge into battle. Fucking spoilers! I just came here to browse the new releases. This is funny because it's like the the shop in the original has like this dude that hires girls. He'd be like, come in, buy something, and he's like, man, I have to do this to make ends meet, but the girls make more than I do. <laughs> Ooh, a captain! Since you're here, would you like to learn about the Magnata girls' picks for Book of the Week? My top pick would have to be the latest issue of Cactuar King. It's a must-read. The king's been wandering for the past few volumes, but suddenly he looks around and what should he see? <laughs> no spoilers. You'll have to read it for yourself. Better start soon before someone ruins it for you. Wow. Yeah, he's at sea for a little while, and then the sh the the it goes on hiatus for years, and then eventually, uh, <laughs> eventually they get where they need to go. The fan club was selling a limited edition photo book here. Oh well. Hello there, Captain. Are you interested in knowing what my book of the week is? I think I'd probably have to go with the Trooper's Creed. It happens to be a philosophy book. There's some thought-provoking stuff about how people should live from the perspective of a trooper. Oh, but I'm sure you've already read it, being a captain and all. I wonder if we have any Queen's Blood players in Upper Junon. Surely. <laughs> Our girls are lovely, am I right? 
Thanks, Captain. We hope to see you again soon. Thanks, Captain. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, they even have the same thanks for stopping by. Okay, we found the last group. You think my here. girlfriend would like it? <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Um, why is this dude dying? Take your time looking around. Quality guaranteed. Why did they decide to have this guy be dying? They said, yes, this dude should be, like, coughing up and dying, I reckon. <laughs> hey, Cover your mouth. From this place, make me feel like the owner's a former soldier. I wonder if it's true. This oh. Oh. Your girlfriend? Bro. Yeah, you're right. I should go with the two bayonets. Okay, it, I, I accept the the reasoning now. Word is that he's a former soldier. Wonder if that's true. So that's why he's coughing, because he's got the degradation. And he's going to be feeling the call of the reunion. Okay, I take it back. I bet she'll love that. He's going to be just like Broden then. Damn. That's subtle, but effective. Oh, Captain. Perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. r, &R over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir. sir! Perfect timing, captain. Nice. Seventh assemble. We rounded up all of the units because, of course, we did. Of course we did. Okay. The vibes here are unparalleled. Welcome. The vibes. Thanks for stopping by. Wonder if I'll be able to. Will you be staying with us? Hey, where am I? Oh, it's so bright. All right, um, we've got the whole infantry now. Where are they? Need to watch them emerge. Which side will they emerge from? I think they'd be over this side, right? Unless they only march in like a clockwise formation. Oh, there they are. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at my army. Look at my army of people. Look at them all. Dude. All right, forward march onto the commander. I believe we've looked around uh, everywhere that we could in here. We've got the whole crew. I'm happy with that. And now I can report to the commander. We should save the game because I never want to leave this portion of the game. New save file because limited save slots. Midgard, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. Good. <laughs> the parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain? Oh, yeah, I need to adjust my drill team formation. Okay, here we go. So, I get to see what I'm dealing with here. Um, so, Guaranteed to show the crowd the seventh patriotism burns bright. Input count medium. Input count medium. Input count medium. So it means whatever you do here, you unlock different. Yeah, you, okay. So we'll be able to do a Shiva formation for the third performance if we use the riot troopers. So if I take that. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, damn. Okay. That unlocks Bahamut difficulty. Bahamut formation and Rama, Ramu difficulty. Input count high, the Afrit formation. Okay. Um, and if I use the flame troopers. Ooh. Okay. So, and Shiva formation. I'm glad that I saved before this because look at their options. Um, so. It seems as if there is... Is there a way that you can manage to get three three-star difficulties? It looks like I'm only able to get two three-stars. 
depending on what I switch. And I think it's Grenadier related. I can get Bahamut and Ramu and then if, uh, at three stars. If I switch out a Grenadier with a security officer. This might be the best bet that we have to be able to do the highest difficulty ones, which means we get the highest potential reward, I would say. What if we use two grenadiers? Oh, there it is. Okay, so if you take off all the security officers and just use grenadiers, you get Ramu, Shiva, and Bahamut. Oh, formation bonus. Hang on. There's a formation bonus as well. Cool. So if you link them up. Performance sure to shock the crowd. Give the crowd the chills and tough as worm scales. All right. And then we've got security officers in reserve. I, we're going for the top tier difficulty immediately. All right. Um, I, well, let's do it. This is so much more involved than it was in the original when it's perfect. It used to be so easy. Midgar 7th Infantry! Attention! <clears throat> You're on! Listen up! As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. And we, uh... And we cannot, we will not, let our great city of Midgar down! Failure is not an option. It's a big ask, but we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now, come on, Cloud. Me. You got this. <laughs> Do the victory pose, will you? Do the special Today pose. Is our day. It was made for the Seventh Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city, and we will return home as champions. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. <laughs> Don't wanna be late, sir. Of course. He got so caught up in the hype. That's so perfect. Oh my god. Back to story. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. <laughs> it's so incredible that we actually get to see this room modeled because you don't even get to see this stuff until super late into the game in the original one. Damn. Yeah. So they're going to break the ceasefire with this Good celebration. Time. Welcome to the celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. <laughs> 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 
Dude. Skills are truly a sight to behold. Roche as well, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, look at the car. This is so extra. Wow. There he is, folks. Rufus Shinra. Wow! Can you even hear me over this crowd? The total lack of protection is staggering. Uh, the president has stopped. Did everybody check the rooftops? Oh, they're doing it. Oh my god, here come, off comes the dust. Wow. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Yeah, how to deafen everyone. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> With a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. <sighs> Damn, all of these uh, civilians look incredible. Oh, there's Glenn. And that's the trailer shot where everyone was like, who the hell is this guy? You join us in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar's 7th Infantry. Let's go! The captain and his team have trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry, make us proud. All right, three-star difficulty for the whole thing. Formation change. That's not bad at all. I think there was one that came in really fast that was hard for me to see. practice, right? Yes, we practiced, oh my God. Final sequence, begin. Oh. When they change the angles of the oh no, come on. This is Jesus. Promising. Yep, it's good. It's good. It's perfect. It's just a warm-up. Excellent direction. This is the first performance. Their movements are so crisp and clean. That's oh god. Yeah, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Oh no. That's all right. Concludes the first part of today's performance by the 7th Infantry Drill Team. Our judges are currently... Oh my god, I'm being rated with likes and dislikes. And here they are now. Based on that, the 7th is off to a solid start. But can they build on this beginning? Oh my god, Let's there they are. They next. Okay, here we go. Drill Team. Focus. First sequence. Begin. Oh, that was a hold down, not a mash. Oh my god, I just want to watch it as well. Cloud going through is so funny. Solid work. Look at him go. Formation. Oh angry. god, my reaction time is awful. They're doing quite well. I keep pressing it just as I miss it. What a performance. Practice makes Final perfect. Final sequence. Begin. It all looks so effortless. Right, I think I've got the, the timing much better now. I know when to let go and when to hold it. They're in perfect sync. Okay, that was much, much better. With that, the seventh infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As I have the dude try to get in the back. This is so fun. Received. So let's take a look at the results. How could people dislike this? It's it's play, it's got character to it. Wonder, given the skill and coordination. Ex exactly. Anyone who's disliking this, 
doesn't like that we're just human and we all make mistakes. Well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. Okay, final round. The Bahamut performance. Left. Face. Formation change. So far, so good. I can't and take my eyes off. March. Them. Practice is paying off. Dude, look at this formation. I can't take my eyes off them. Oh no, it was nervous. No. Drill team. Oh, it all looks like Jesus. I can't see. What a performance. They're not in step. I don't know what I was even supposed to do there. I got so confused. It's good, but they can surely do better. No. Come on. Say nicer things to me, please. It all looks so effortless. Exactly, it's perfect. Oh, throwing the guns up, the plane comes over. We did great. And with that, we reached the end show. of the 7th <laughs> Infantry's performance. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes from you, the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got 100,000. God damn it. That That's still Judging good. By this response, it's clear that Midgar's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new... I love that they've mixed uh, no two portions it, together, the parade and the performance for the president that you usually do in front of the ship. So this was great. Dude, the Valkyrie units. <laughs> Dude. This is peak Shinra propaganda, and it's so perfect. Oh, look. We, oh, okay, here we go. Yes, he's going to recognize her. <laughs> <laughs> he has the boss theme. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Oh, we're being watched the whole time, yeah. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. They remain unaware. <clears throat> That's context that I appreciate. I trust you know the mission by now. Rude Elena, get back to work. My friends, allow me to congratulate you on a stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question. And I know our president can't wait to thank you all. Of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Because I picked three. <laughs> Ruffs, remember the name. Oh, this is because I picked three tier three difficulties. We practiced. Come on up, Commander. Aye, aye. Oh my god, dude, this is so very sides the camera. I love that they've contextualized it with like they've just given an order that they know that they're here. Commendation. Okay, here we go. If you would do the honor, sir. 
It's gotta be me. And Rufus knows that it's me, doesn't he? The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. Wow. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. But to them and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day, and the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. Brother gave a political speech, all right. There we go. He, he, he's politics. Together, my friends, trust me and we'll, we'll do it. Now, I have a commendation to present. The award goes to... Midgar's 7th Infantry. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Your relationship with Tifa and Aerith have changed! That's right, baby! Yes, ma'am! Yes, he does it! He does it with his ceremonial sword! He does the special pose! Never been so happy to just be a total Shinra mouthpiece today. <laughs> to accept this award on behalf of the team. Here we go. <laughs> three of the best will now join me. Oh. Come on up. I love entering here being like, why isn't anyone like aware of us or like suspicious of us? Because they knew all along and they've let this happen. Salute! Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir. You! You're on crowd control! <laughs> that ain't right. Excuse me! Need to get through! Where's Red? Oh, there he is. Yep. Barrett, over there. Yes, Yuffie's got the camera! <laughs> oh, that's so fun! Yuffie's here too. I really She's got the mission. The rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! Mm. 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 
<laughs> Yuffie's got her assassination mission. You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent, the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Very well done. Seems like a good way up. Yo, that's how they're gonna bring us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this gives me the opportunity to pause. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Cause at the beginning, I, I arrived to Junon and I'm like, no one's suspicious about us at all. And they're just so happy with what's going on. And it, what's great is you get to the, you know, you, you have the idea that you know that the higher ups are probably a little bit aware of you or like the Turks, but like not any of the other people, but you can do, definitely contextualize it that it's like people for the most part have been instructed to just turn a blind eye or just like to allow things to happen or to arrange certain things, you know? So the Turks have just been watching them the whole time. Rufus knew of them the whole time let them get up close and it's so good and this is such a massive departure from the original and i really like how this has been handled the presentation this feels like a presidential inauguration like the the people that are here the celebration surrounding it all whereas in the original it's very very limited obviously you have the people doing the march and it's on tv um, and then you do a private little performance for the president later and get his commendation. So I love that they've blended that all in together. The performance of it was just exceptional. The showmanship, the, the realism of it all with like the news crew and the getting the ratings and everything, just super well done. Loved that entirely. But the big departure here is in the original, Rufus doesn't know. You actually do successfully infiltrate, you stow away, you get past him, and he doesn't know, he doesn't find out until later. The fact that he's actually talking to the group and being like, I don't care about this stuff. I want this to happen. I have a new vision. I really, really like this angle. It's giving such a different way for these characters to interact. And I am super excited for that development. Because it, yeah, instead of it just being like, 
avoiding each other and then them barely interacting, they actually get a chance to have this weird the enemy if my enemy is my friend dynamic. And that is really fun. Um, and then they've given us the playable Yuffie segment. Here we go. <laughs> Dressed in her little Moogle dis disguise like she was in the Intergrade DLC. I wonder how Wutai is going to respond to the firing of the cannon, even though it wasn't obviously directed uh, towards them at all. It was so cool to see. So Yuffie's going to go for her. Shit. I don't see Little Miss Ninja anywhere. <laughs> no. no, but you can't have gone far. She's doing her assassination mission <clears throat> while the crew stand there. Everyone's just waiting on idle patiently. Yeah, she's on the she's on the menu. Yuffie Kizaragi. I think this will show her and her introduction to the group. There's the Fort Condor symbol. Look, up there. Oh no! Don't do it now! <sighs> oh damn. Alright, Shinra. Time to pay. Very quick little flashback there to intermission. Dude, your target is a considerable distance away and hitting him will take a fair amount of concentration. Line up the fluctuating retic uh, reticule with the targets when your reticle flashes gold and is within the target circle. Sharpen your focus. Continue this process until you're focused enough to deliver the killing blow. This like feels like we're on that same level of like Final Fantasy VIII when you're doing the Sorceress Parade as well. It's that same thing. So classic. Focus. Don't take Cloud's head off. So, we have ourselves a deal then. Only if you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Hojo, not the Turks. No one. <laughs> you have my word. Wait, I'm confused. Oh. Take your time. You know I realize what this. I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Here goes. So I thought. That, yeah, it's fine. Gotcha. I figured it out. Stop! <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Whoa! We actually gotta get down, Mr. President scene. No way. <laughs> get down, Mr. President! Uh, so that's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You had your chance. Sir, please! Swing the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! Wow. All right. Yuffie, that was her, right? Yep. What do we do? Get the hell out of here. Hey! What happened to Rufus? Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. Oh. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. <laughs> Sir, your orders. Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larboard Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. 
If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorist. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. <laughs> oh, this is making me upset now. We'll alert all <laughs> units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest of Marbor Juna. Got it? Yes, sir! Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Fighting with Midgar's 7th Infantry. Oh, my God. Five members of the infantry will join you as you make for Junon Seaport. Unafraid to lay down their lives for their captain, these troopers will assist you in combat. However, they can be attacked and even defeated. So see that they make it to the port alive. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. This is perfect. Um, Yuffie goes in for it. We actually get a get down, Mr. President. Heidegger takes a hit, which is very commendable of him. Um, and I'm getting my little heart broken over the 7th Infantry right now because they're going to have to face the music that they've been betrayed from right up top with their captain. And that's so sad. And we're making them shoot each other? Like, goddamn. This is just the thing. It's like... There's, while Shinra as a corporation is evil, there are, and the remake does this as well, the previous game, just there are people working there because it's their job at the same time, and that's like kind of the, the option. They're not inherently evil, they are partaking in a corporate evil, but for the most part, they're actually unaware of the scheming and the plotting that, you know, upper tier Shinra do, and Hojo and all of that stuff. Rufus has also read Cloud's file, which would have so much information. Very enlightening indeed, especially if that comes from Hojo. So that's another reason why he's like, go and get Sephiroth for me. And the black-robed man that Red 13 saw is Glenn, not one of the reunion fellas. However, he is a soldier, which means he may also be dealing with the effects of the potential degradation and reunion. Okay. I'm fighting with the the infantry. This is incredible. <clears throat> I like that they returned the sword to me as well. And now we must find our way out of here. Finally got a weapon upgrade for Cloud. We got the Rune Blade. Hell yeah. A great sword inscribed with characters from a mystical ancient script. That's cool. Disorder. Dev deliver a devastating attack while switching modes. Fills the ATB gauge when the attack connects. <clears throat> okay. Let's chuck that on. I'll just do those for now. And I also have an extra slot now as well. Okay. This whole sequence has just been uh, just incredible. Okay, we've got to head for the port. I can't go back that way. All right, let's go team. Prepare to fight! God, this rune blade is big. Suspect, Let's sorry. do this. The captain needs us! Stop. 
protect my soldiers. They haven't done anything wrong. So long. Was never in God. I must protect them with all that I am. I'm so stunned, dude. Trying to form coherent thoughts this episode has been a challenge. While also excitingly, excitedly rambling all of my blah 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 words. <laughs> Trying my best to form coherent words and thoughts. It's just so special. Is it true someone tried to kill the president? That's correct. The latest report is that the assailant fled to Larbor Juno. Shit. Well, here. If you run into that bastard. It has been very hard to contain my excitement <laughs> in this episode. And I do not apologize for it. Look how much of Junon we're seeing here. Oh my god. Oh dude, I'm so sorry, my 7th Infantry. You have no idea that you are being betrayed. Yes, I can heal my... Yes, I can heal him. Alright, keep him alive. The mess hole. We've gotten to see so much more of Junon as well. Just like even... Do you? Never doubt your brothers. Yes, sir! Never doubt your brothers. Oh. I almost just hope that, like, the truth doesn't get revealed to them. I feel so bad. I'm like, please just escape without them knowing. Let's make this quick. Oh, I don't have uh, my assess material on. Shit. Because I haven't scanned any of these before. Oh, damn it. Look at him go. Alright, hang on. Let me put my assess material on. Um, I don't know if I'll face off against those types of enemies again. I probably will. Assess material back on. Meanwhile, we've got other ones going. There he is. He's literally with the, the literally with the assassin. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight my own troops soon. You think you can stop me? Where I can see him. Ah! <laughs> 
I got to know. The J Unit Sweeper. An autonomous anti-personnel weapon deployed in Junon. It remains in sleep mode until it detects intruders, at which point it enters threat elimination mode. Shinra troopers currently stationed in Junon, typically seen patrolling the city streets and company installations. Many are new recruits with little training. Just so you know, that's who you're murdering. <laughs> Just new recruits to the cause. Oh, I'm being healed by my team as well. Oh my god. Imagine them seeing me in action and my team just being like, wow, he's cool. <laughs> he's just a normal guy. Elite Shinra troopers stationed in Junon who were promoted from the ranks of Grenadiers due to their superior ability. Armed with grenade launchers, they are often deployed in key strongholds. All done. Okay, let's continue going down. You sure you guys don't want to wait behind? Make sure that you remain alive and everything. Perhaps it's time we return to Larbor Junon, sir? Indulge me, trooper. Yes, yes sir! Ha, huh. because the assailant is supposed to be in Larbor Junon and we're leaving. <laughs> we're like, indulge me. Oh, wow, the hangar. Oh, dude. Yes, look. Dude, classic Final Fantasy VII monsters. The death wheel. Saturation attack. All right, hang on. Ow. All right, just need to use assess on this guy. An autonomous anti-personnel weapons platform developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division. Equipped with a compact high displacement engine, it's capable of rapid, nimble movement that allows it to strike its target with ease. Exploiting the elemental weakness will pressure it, and it will erect a barrier in front of it and counterattack once it's pressured. Okay, we just have to deal with it constantly running around. There we go. Alright. There you go. Nice. Very cool. Alright, I almost lost one of you. Here, have a high potion. You've earned it. I'm keeping you alive. I guess resting here would have healed them as well, I suppose. Oh, wow. Um... <sighs> what the... 
training ground. You really ought to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> Hmm? Oh dear. My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. <laughs> Dude. The rematch is here. There's even a band. Fans of yours? <laughs> Fans of hell. Students, you know, you and I are living legends. I got this. Sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> oh, isn't it exciting? The two of us together again at long last. Picture it. A duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights! He's such a performer. Actors! Push it over the red line! Oh my god, he's on his bike too. Okay, um... Oh my god, how? Okay. Let's figure this out. We'll go for the assessment first. Alright, let's figure out what this dude's deal is. I got you. A 3C soldier maverick who left Midgar in order to reunite with his dear friend. His freewheeling, reckless, and altogether bombastic nature has earned, earned him both envy and scorn in equal measure. Exploiting his elemental weakness can pressure him. If Roche is pressured while riding the walls, he will drop to the ground and counterattack. Inflicting enough damage while he is pressured will cause him to spin out. Okay. So... If he's on the wall, he'll counterattack. Oh my god. Okay. Dude. <laughs> I already need to heal myself for my first move. Here we go. Uh, we'll go for fire. No. He's pressured. We got the stagger. Oh, he's hit. He's hit a line. Okay. I see. Can't do any more damage. We're in the next stage. Are you not entertained? My friend! I fear our audience finds this sport underwhelming. And we have a reputation to live up to. Come, let's give the people a proper spectacle! Oh my god. Okay. Sure. What are we doing now, bud? Oh, you totally cancelled my attack. You asshole. Okay. No holding back. Calling fire. Here we go. Here we go. Defeated him with the counter. Damn. Oh, 
<laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> dude. Whoa, nice. Advent children slice the bike in half. Stronger and faster with every lap. Who's next? Oh, what? Come now. This match was ours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expected nothing less than the best. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain, a gift. I insist. Speed demon keychain. Stuff stamp, okay. <laughs> keychain of himself. That's your cue to exit. Yonder elevator will take you down. And do your shit. You sure? I'll be right behind you. <laughs> he loves him so much. Shoot yourself. Oh my god. What a great little sequence in between the training grounds. Oh my god. I bid you bon voyage, my friend. He respects it. He respects the game. He sliced his bike in half. Horizontally. Very good. Fighting him on his bike is real fun. Alright, boys. You sure you want to keep following me? What if we just ended up convincing them to desert Shinra and fight for a better cause, right? Right? We go... Desert Shinra. Join Avalanche. Do what is best. Still not able to make any of these, um... High-level ones yet. So the only thing that I can make is stuff that I've already made. I love that they're just watching me resource gather. It's just, they're just like... Look at the captain go. He's resource gathering. Because there, for some reason, seems to be just such an incredible amount of the stuff here. And I see the light. My friends, it is almost time to bid farewell. Whoa, there it is, dude. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. Look at the design on it. Oh, that's incredible. It's so much more than just like a basic ass ship. It's a full on cruise liner. Properly a cruise liner. We're going on a cruise ship, boys. You better be coming with me. Wow. Oh no, it's playing piano music. You guys had Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. 
Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Uh. Or are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman, just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sir! It's okay. At ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but the Seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. Will we see each other again, sir? <laughs> Count on it. <sighs> yeah. See you on the battlefield one day when I swing my sword into your face unknowingly. Oh, <laughs> dude, the fact that they had this. <laughs> oh, man. I love them so much. Never leave Junon. Also, look at the look at the blur on Cloud here. This it's really fucking. Yeah, Cloud's phasing in and out reality here. That blur is crazy. Ugh. Ugh. Um, my brothers, never leave Junon, and if you do, never go into war. I don't want to have to swing my sword at you. They sad piano music to us, I can't believe it. I'm so glad that they didn't turn on me enough to fight me, because they know that it's, uh, Yuffie. Yuffie's 100% gonna be a stowaway on this ship as well, right? We're being teased for quite a long while before Yuffie actually joins the group. But I expect it'll happen on the ship. It'll be forced bonding time. Damn, Junon has been... This has exceeded my expectations in every way. Like, <laughs> this game has done that so much, but like, even more so. Junon is just spectacular. This is gonna be a whole area within itself. Look at this. I'm just relieved the president is okay. Just trust in Shinra and think they can't gang. behind that attack yet? <sighs> Hey, I see the mysterious robed figure. Yeah. Great. Now then. There's a few of them. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right. <laughs> They're screening passengers. What now? Stowaway time. We try the back door. They're screening passengers and they let in the reunion guy. They literally said, "Yep, yeah, you I can said, come in." If they canceled my trip, this is so funny. My emotion sickness. Meds. There's uh, there's multiple of them. We'll be working down the line to get everyone processed. So where's uh, where's Glenn then? Because these are actually proper reunion dudes. Wow. Of course, okay. things would go crazy before my first voyage. We all lost our helmets, huh? Just trust in Shinra and things will be fine. Alright, we're stowing away. Okay. Let's see. Can I help you? Yeah, we're, uh... We are the winners of the President's Commendation. 
As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The Commander-in-Chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the President's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. <sighs> Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Aye, sir. <laughs> oh, and your dog stays in the hold. Got it. <laughs> Play along. Very good. And we get aboard with all the robed men as well, because they followed us. All clear! Pull her up! Get to work, Barrett, in the sailor uniform. Ah, oh, here she is. Oh, that's not Yuffie. Go away, Kyrie. Stay in this region where you belong. We just got Yuffie baited. I was like, oh, here comes Yuffie, come to run on the ship. <laughs> oh, we made it to chapter five. Blood in the water. Wow, good title. Look at this cruise ship. The Shinra 8. Chapter four was huge. Andrea is on here. Of course he is. Oh, they all are. Is Chocobo Sam here as well? Then? <sighs> oh, okay. Well, that was hard. What are you guys doing here? The air is different here, isn't it? Compared to Midgar? Very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. Ah. Probably no use for Chocobo Sam on here. <laughs> Not bad. Time for a little reconnaissance. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time he goes to wander off, the kids love him. It's so good. They're softening him up slowly. You can't get the kids' attention uh, if you're in Shuna uniform. No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. I bet. I'm here if you want to talk. Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <sighs> Meeting adjourned for now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so how's it looking up top? All the robes are in second class. Haven't seen any sign of Shinra though. We can ditch the uniforms. It's been an honor, Captain. Captain. Hey, about this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's off thanks to little Miss Ninja's stud, but personally, I think she did us a favor. 
Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards Costa del Sol and expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a <laughs> Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on. won't talk logic about where our clothes came from. We'll just accept that we're able to materialize them. <laughs> I was just wearing them underneath somehow. And with that one, we get to bring this episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to a close, but honestly, perfect. Such a great ending to Chapter 4. I loved that entire sequence. We will probably see Yuffie the stowaway on here getting motion sick at some point uh, while there's so much more to discover here because this this ship is properly sized now. It's not just one deck, another deck and the front of it and just there we go. There's so much going on here and this is going to be so fun to explore and take a look around. Also Queen's Blood Tournament, I must partake. And we will be checking out Chapter 5 next time. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you then.